Hi everyone, welcome back. Have you ever wished designing could super quick and feel like magic? You are in the right place. Today I'm really excited to show you how I design using UX Pilot screen and it all works with a spatial design system. In this demo I will rock with so how I do it. Every part of the design comes from this design system, help me to work faster, make better stuff and stay super organized. Honestly, it's like having a secret tool that makes everything easier. If you want to see some design magic and make your work easier too, let's get started. Okay, so to make all this magic and create new screen based on the design system that you have in your file, I took a design system that I found in the Figma community. It is called Fractal Design System from Lea Mendes. So first of all, thank you Lea for creating the design system. I have some one by the way, because it has character and because of that I selected it. I opened it in Figma, click here on open in Figma and then move to the file. In this file, you can see all the elements like color, typography, and all the components as you can see here on the screen. The first thing you need to do to import a design system is open the UX Pilot plugin. I will click on the menu, click on UX Pilot, and now we have the plugin open. To import the component, it's very easy. You just need to select the component. Let's select this one, the checkbox, these two, and then move to import components. I will click here on Fractal Design System. It is a collection I opened before, but if you don't have a collection, click here and you will be able to add a collection. I will click on this one and then on Import. You can upload up to 100 components, as you can see here. I will click on Import again, and it will add the components to UX Pilot. And now you can see we have more components in UX Pilot. You can add more than one component every time, but don't add too many components, like selected all of these ones, because it's difficult to the plugin. So do it one by one, two by two. It's a little bit work, but after that, you will have it organized well. Now I will move to the demo page and let's see some examples. So here we are in the demo page. I will click in the menu, open again, UX Pilot, and then here I select the design system, select how many screen I want. In that case, I will take one and write a prompt here. Let's make an example, a desktop path for network monitoring and management. Let's click on generate high fidelity screens and see the result. In the meantime, it's generated. Just let you know that it's work well, but still not everything it needs. And I'm sure the team of UX Pilot will add more functionalities and make it better. For example, I would like to see how I import the colors and the typography because after play with that, this is something that missing. Okay, we get the result. Let's see it closer. You can see here, it took all the styles from the design system and applied to the screen. It's a great advance for us as a designer to create screen in much more easy way. And now imagine that you need to create a screen with very specific scope when you know how many inputs you want to add to the screen. So for that cases, it will be a huge advantage. Let's make another demo. I will ask you to make another example now. A desktop email client with advanced filtering options. Okay, this sounds interesting. Let's click on generate. In the meantime, generate, just let me know in the comments what you think about this feature. Do you like it, not like it? How you see it will be improved or not your workflow? Another thing, if you want me to make specific tutorials about AI, specific tools, AI and design, just let me know in the comments. Okay, it's finished. Let's see the result. In my opinion, I will change a little bit the design, but basically you can see that it's take it. I mean, it's look like a client email and it's very impressed that in simple clicks, we can design something super solid. Let's see another example that I did before with a real product and see how it's look. In that case, I took a design system that Patrick Morgan did for Anthropic. Anthropic is the company behind Claude, the competitor of ChatGPT. So he created this design system for the product. Here we are in the design system file of Claude. I will click here on UX Pilot, then select that I want to generate one screen. Remember, to select here the design system, you want that the UX Pilot will build the screens based on it. I will write a prompt here, an event planner tool to enhance collaboration. Let's see it on generate and see the result. Okay, this is the screen it generated for us. You can see that it's take most of the style from the design system, as you can see here. Still, there are things that are missing. As I said before, let typography that here it's inter, but Claude has another typography, as you can see here. But in general, you can see how it works. And I believe with the time, the plugin will improve and fix all these bugs that exist still. But first of all, this is the first version and I'm sure the team will improve it in the near future. Give it a shot. I believe you will like it. And 
for my opinion, this is the way we will design in the near future. We'll add a scope and based on our design system, we will get screens. If you want to test it, you will find the link in the description. You will get some free credits to test it. So you will able to understand how it works. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you're looking for a product designer to level up your business or you're curious about bringing AI into your workflow, my contact info down in the description. Feel free to reach out at any time. And if you got value from this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment. I will love to hear your thought or any question you have got. See you in the next one. Take care.